The Second Battle of Heligoland Bight, also called the Action in the Helgoland Bight, was an inconclusive naval engagement fought between British and German squadrons on 17 November 1917, during the First World War. Background Following the German Navy's successful raid on the Scandinavian convoy on 17 October 1917, Admiral Sir David Beatty, commander-in-chief of the British Grand Fleet, determined to retaliate. On 17 November 1917 a strong force of cruisers under Vice Admiral Trevelyan Napier was sent to attack German minesweepers which were clearing a channel through British minefields in the Heligoland Bight. The intentions of the German force had been revealed by British naval intelligence, allowing the British to mount an ambush. The German sweepers were escorted by a group of cruisers and torpedo boats under Rear Admiral Ludwig von Reuter. The battle, the action began at 7.30 a.m., roughly 65 nautical miles west of SYLT, when HMS Courageous sighted the enemy. She opened fire at 7.37 a.m. Admiral Reuter, the German commander, with four light cruisers and eight destroyers, advanced to engage his more powerful enemy in order to cover the withdrawal of his minesweepers, all of which escaped except for the trawler Keddingen, which was sunk. The battle thereafter developed into a stern chase as the German forces, skillfully using smoke screens, withdrew southeast at their best speed, under fire from the pursuing British ships of the 1st Cruiser Squadron, the 1st and 6th Light Cruiser Squadrons, and, later, HMS Repulse. Both sides were hampered in their manoeuvres by the presence of naval minefields. The British ships gave up the chase some two hours later, as they reached the edge of known minefields. At about the same time, the light cruisers came under fire of two German battleships, SMS Kaiser and SMS Kaiserine which had come up in support of on Reuters ships. HMS Kaledon was struck by one 30.5 cm shell which did minimal damage shortly thereafter. The British forces withdrew. All personnel on the bridge of the light cruiser HMS Calypso, including her captain, Herbert Edwards, were killed by a 15cm shell. The battle cruiser HMS Repulse briefly engaged the German ships at about 10 hundred, scoring a single hit on the light cruiser SMS Königsberg that ignited a major fire on board. It was during this battle that able seaman John Henry Carlos of HMS Kaledon won a posthumous Victoria Cross for his bravery in manning a gun despite mortal wounds. Appendix Order of Battle British forces The following British vessels were engaged 1st Cruiser Squadron, Vice Admiral Trevelyan D. W. Napier, C.B. M.V.O. Courageous Glorious Attached Destroyers Ursa Nerissa Urchin Umpire 6th Light Cruiser Squadron, Rear Admiral Edwin S. Alexander Sinclair CBMVO Cardiff Series Calypso Caradoc Attached Destroyers Valentine Vimira Vanquish a Vehement First Light Cruiser Squadron Commodore Walter H. Cowan CB MVO DSO Kaledon Galatea Royalist and Constant Attached Destroyers Vendetta Medway First Battle Cruiser Squadron Rear Admiral Richard F. Philemore CB, MVO repulsed German forces The following German vessels were engaged. 2nd Scouting Group Light Cruises Königsberg Pillau Frankfurt Nuremberg 7th Torpedo Boat Flotilla S62 G87 14th Half Flotilla G92 G93 V83 12th Half Flotilla V43 V44 V45 Minesweeper 6th Minesweeper Half Flotilla M66 M7 A36 T74 M53 M4, M3, M1 4th Auxiliary Minesweeper Half Flotilla, A63, A68, A69, A74, A41, A52 2nd Auxiliary Minesweeper Half Flotilla, Fishing Vessels 6th Auxiliary Minesweeper Half Flotilla, Fishing Vessels 4th Barrier Breaker Group, 2 Vessels Group S, North Sea Outpost Half Flotilla, 